And now we're going to move on to my friends in life's lost. Well, really, I should only really say Tannis, uh, not to be rude or anything, but Tannis is the only member I really know really well. I think their drummer is Alan Thompson. I do know him a bit, so, but the rest of the band I don't really know personally. But uh, actually, the singer, and I don't know if he's still playing guitar in this band or not, but I definitely know that he's definitely doing vocals for this band, and he actually used to be in Ocean a few years back. Back in 2016, he was the bass player, and uh, he did some background vocals as well. And we've moved on to other projects, and, oh, well, I haven't really, but he has. Uh, he was in a band called La Chiate right after that. Uh, I was originally called Scarlet Sunrise, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, La, then La Chiate, uh, which means, I think, alone in Latin. And they kind of sounded like uh, Trivium and like Bullet for a Valentine kind of stuff. I think they still have stuff on the inner tube. So if you guys want to go check out La Chiate, you can go do that as well. Um, but uh, if you guys were, I think they're, they're, the Lives Lost is more of an emo kind of band. I'm going to put the link down below there right now for you guys. But it looks like, okay, um, Hershey area based rock band. So that's my neck of the woods. I literally live 10 minutes from Hershey. Um, made up of veteran musicians of former bands within the central PA and Buffalo, New York music scene. So that's maybe why I don't know some of the members. So I've never even been to Buffalo, New York. Lives Loss brings a genre bending sound to the stage, making each performance unique. I, I dig that. So yeah, we got Tannis Pellegrini, my buddy, lead vocals, guitars, and principal songwriting. Okay, that's, that's interesting, principal songwriting. Never really see that in credits. Alan Thompson, I have met him a few times. Cool guy. Drums, keyboards, backing vocals. Okay, cool. Josh Kryzan, I have, uh, that's the bass player, backing vocals. I don't know if I'm saying these names correctly. Dylan Kasprovzik, I guess it's like a Polish Russian name. Guitars, co lead vocals, programming, and Aaron Perry on lead guitar. Okay, cool. So they, I guess I have three guitars, or I don't, I don't know how, yeah, I don't, oh, I guess let's, let's jump into Letting Go of Ghosts by Lives Lost. Oh my god, what is this? This reminded me of like, already just the intro is reminding me of like Under Oath and um, Take It Back Sunday. That's cool. Okay. Hell yeah. And that is his wife Haley, the woman in the uh, music video here. I met her once. Very nice lady. This is really, really, really good quality. Like visually and like aesthetic, like aesthetically and uh, audio wise. Ooh. Make it left, Tannis. God damn it, he's gonna give me shit for that. I know it. Get some sleep, damn it. It helps. It's healthy. Hey, nice little drum fill there. Oh, definitely. Uh, I must say, Tannis. Yeah, it's no slap. It's yeah. His vocals have like gotten like way better over the years. Oh, it's just had a solid voice, but this is incredible. Okay, what's going down here? Is there like an open up breakdown or is it getting really sentimental and melodic here? We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. What are we getting into? This is fucking fantastic. Definitely, definitely fucking go subscribe. I don't think I've subscribed yet. I oh, don't, no, I have, I have, I have. Oh, oh, they have a link tree. Fuck yeah, I love, I love this shit. Copy link address, I think that'll work. Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't think I want all that. There we go. That should be less. 
There we go. There we go. <laughs> Last time I saw Candice was a couple weeks ago, where I worked at Dollar Tree and, and uh, told him I was proud of uh, the progress he's made. And well, this is the first time I've seen this or heard this song completely all the way through. And uh, wow, I further that, you know, uh, proudness. Yeah, even more proud. That that's quick grammar. After seeing this and hearing this, incredible. Fuck yes, like it's like a modernized version of like Taking Back Sunday and like Under Oath and like Census Fail and like there's other influences that I can't think of right now that are definitely in there.